of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bone connected to the thigh bone? Amazing! Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Yeah, you do. Impossible? Wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Okay. We don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. They're standing in the middle of the road. You level with me about this science project of yours. I am uh, not a scientist. Go ahead. Ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, Mr. E but you're wrong, wrong, MC wrong. squared. So as Albert Einstein is A. Oh no, he left. Hello? No solicitors! Whoa, Chris. Oh, oh, he's back. Give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! <laughs> you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll suffer for defamation of character! Crazy Emmett. You just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. And uh, about you say it. He's a that's me. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Come on, Doc. Uh, damn it. Uh, drop the legal eagle act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Did Dad tell you that? Every morning. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter, very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification Yikes. before Pop, I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. So, Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till nine. Nine at night? But today's Saturday. So I probably won't get off before 10. Yikes. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, soda. What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary <laughs> beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning. That's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before I ate, my pop would kill me. Yeah, he probably would. Come on. Okay. Was it clicking? I'm really scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. And uh, about you your... Say it. I'm gonna go tell Doc what I have learned about younger Doc. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram.
That didn't work. I'll talk to him through the window. Stack! Morning! Have you found my younger self yet? Well, I met your younger self. Right. And I gotta say, you're kind of uptight. What? You won't even talk to me. I find that hard to believe. Tell me what happened. <laughs> what happened? I tried asking him about your rocket drill, but he says he's not a scientist. What? What? Oh, uh, father. What's he got to do with this? In 1931, I'm still deathly afraid of my father discovering the truth about my scientific predilections. So I carefully kept them under wraps, practicing science at odd hours, away from his prying eyes. <sighs> that sucks. It sucked a lot. Fortunately, I eventually stood up to him. But right now, my younger self probably thinks you've been sent by my father to check up on me. What do I do to convince Team Doc that I'm not a spy? I'm uh, not sure. Why does your younger self mutter all the time? Muttering? What will I mean? Muttering? I, I, I never mutter unless... Uh, the Hill Valley Expo! Expo? Yes, the Expo. How could I have forgotten? In a few months, the under me will set the Hill Valley, including him. So, you... No, it's Mark Lighter. expo have to do with you muttering all the time? When I was younger, I used to relieve stress by working on complex mathematical conundrums. Oh, so conundrums. now my younger self is working on some impossible problem in an attempt to work off conundrums. some steam in the weeks before the exposition. What was I muttering about? I don't well, know what he was muttering about. He's something with the universe and something else. I I'm not so good at equations. That's too bad. I bet if we could solve my younger self's problem, he'd be more inclined to listen to you. Okay, let's see. I still can't figure out what your younger self is muttering about. What? Well, if only I could hear of myself. Huh. Only he could hear himself. So. Let's Hi. talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay. I have Don't forget we're on a bit of a deadline here. Let's go do my idea and see if it works. Okay, where is Evan? Here he is. Oopsies, I saw him. Come on, almost there. Where is he? There he is, he's right there. Damn, I missed him. Okay. I want to take my a chance. Oopsies. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. And uh, about Don't say your... it. Well. Okay, I need to get my recorder and a tape recorder. Think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh. hmm. Okay, so well, that's all I've got time for in this part. But you should watch my other parts and hope you guys enjoy it. But... I have to go right now, so Stephen M. Silston is out of here!